Equity release has its pros and cons, and these need to be considered carefully before deciding whether or not to take the plunge. However, it is a fairly complex landscape to navigate, so I thought that a quick roundup would help you to decide whether or not equity release is for you. With property wealth in the UK worth over £5 trillion, pounds, equity release could allow many of us that are approaching retirement or indeed already retired to unlock the cash stored in our bricks and mortar. Research shows that there's a knowledge gap when it comes to equity release and how it works. According to the UK's financial regulator, there are concerns over the risks for consumers seeking to turn their housing wealth into cash. And with the COVID-19 pandemic adding extra financial pressure, we believe here at Over 50's Money that you need to have all the facts before you before you make any decisions. So what is equity release? Equity release is a way of unlocking the value in your property. So in fact, it's a lifetime mortgage that enables you to stay living in your house while you receive a tax-free lump sum that you can do with whatever you like. So many people will do things such as invest in that property. So they may, for example, put in a downstairs bedroom or a downstairs loo, enabling them to continue to live in that property for longer. But they can also use the money to fund their lifestyle for say the next 10 to 15 years. So actually, once you really understand what's important to you, you can spend that money however you want. The important thing to remember is that the deal remains in place until you either die or you move into a care home. So ask yourself the question, is my health likely to decline? If you've taken the cash out and used it for a better lifestyle, but your house then needs to be sold in order to help fund your care, any costs that fall outside council funding may well become a burden to the other members of your family. So there's a growing trend for younger people to take out equity release. When it first became popular, most people taking out equity release deals were in their 70s. Nowadays, the trend is for people as young as 55 to start to take out these deals. And that gives us all something to think about. So if you're only 55, then you may need that money to last you quite a long time. So you need to think through how long does the money need to last? What am I going to use it on? And also, what does that mean for the inheritance I leave behind? Are there any other options that better suit you? Would you be better to downsize? If you're living in a family home that used to shelter the lives of three or four children, but you don't need all those bedrooms anymore. Maybe it's time to sell that property and then invest the money you get for that in buying something smaller. How you feel about your house also needs to be considered. And for many of us, that's a very emotional subject. So a lot of us have brought up our families in the house that we're in and moving away can be very, very hard for us to consider. So it doesn't matter how we start to think about making ends meet in retirement. If we're thinking about our property, it always becomes an emotional roller coaster for us. Here's a summary of the pros and cons to consider. First, the pros. So once you've agreed which equity release provider to go with and the amount of cash to be released, it only takes a short while to get the money. So typically two to four weeks. You can use the cash from equity release for anything. There are no restrictions. So you continue to own your own house. Usually you can move house if you need to, for example, to downsize at a later date. You can continue to live in your house until you die or are taken into full-time care. If the house is in joint names, this applies until the last owner dies or moves into full-time care. The Equity Release Council provides standards that ensures members have to provide the best advice and service. So next, the cons. So equity release can be expensive with interest compounding up quickly. The value of your estate will be reduced, meaning that you have less inheritance to leave to family, loved ones or special causes. And the lump sum received can affect your rights to mean tested benefits. So arrangement fees for equity release can also be expensive. So typically that in the range between £1,500 and £3,000. So the complexity of equity release means that I think you need to think this through very, very carefully before deciding whether or not it's right for you and whether or not to go ahead. 
It's important to check all providers, any solicitors you're planning to use, against the list of the Equity Release Council. You can find details of that on our website. So the other thing that you should be aware of is that on our website we do have links to providers and it's easy to fill in a little form on the website and to actually then get a quote which will tell you roughly how much you may be able to release from your property if you decide to go ahead with equity release. That's easy to do, it's fairly straightforward and as I say check out the website and you'll be given some guidance as to how to do that.